who's ready for a Build-A-Bear review? Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. But if you're new here, my name is Lizzie and I'm a Disney plush collector from the UK. So happy Tuesday and happy Valentine's Day. I hope you are having a good day and celebrating it if you celebrate it. I am wearing my Stitch Spirit jersey from Disneyland Paris today because we are doing a Stitch plush review. Now if you didn't see last week's video, I will leave the card up above because there is a Stitch plush in there as well. I reviewed all of the Shop Disney UK Valentine's Day plush offerings for this year but I've actually had this one since just after I got back from Disneyland Paris. So I got an email on Saturday the 7th of January from Build-A-Bear saying that there was a new Stitch plush available. I obviously posted it on my Instagram stories, if you don't follow me over there I'm also Lizzie and Disney and asked whether I should get it. Knowing full well I would anyway, I wasn't just buying it on account of everybody else, I just thought it was a fun little interaction piece to do. So 71% said yes I should get him, so I went to my local store and unfortunately it wasn't in stock yet, it was only online and because I love making these videos for you where I make my own, I didn't want to get it online. So I waited until I got back from Disneyland Paris and they had it in stock. I did also ask you whether you thought I should get it with the heart or without the heart. 68% said with the heart, but as I didn't want the heart, I got some other bits which I think you will really like. Build-A-Bear have now made a collector's guide for the stitch plushes, which I will share here. There is the original sat down stitch, which I have no intention of getting. There's the tie dye stitch, which I believe was for Easter last year, and I'm really regretting not getting it. Please bring it back this year because I would 1000% get it. Same with the spooky fun stitch for Halloween last year. If that comes back, I will get it. I got the Aloha Christmas stitch. If you didn't see my review of that, I will leave a card up above. I did it in Vlogmas, and now there is the lots of love stitch for valentine's day so i do hope that the others come back periodically so that people who missed out can get them myself included but like i said i made mine at the builder bear in merry hill which is my local store so i'm just going to put in that footage of me building it and then we will go into the review The reason I make it in store, which I've mentioned every single time I do a Build-A-Bear review, is that you can stuff it how you want it. So I've had mine really, really soft. My friend actually made this for me and I think he's really, really cute. I didn't have a scent in, I didn't have a sound, I didn't have a heartbeat. I just went with the standard £30 stitch plush. I did pick my own from the little bin to make sure that I was happy with it, but honestly, it's the stuffing that really matters to me more so than how the ears are and things because I have my hacks for sorting out bent ears. So what is it? This is the Lots of Love Stitch which is the Valentine's Day incarnation of Stitch. He is from Builder bear you can buy him online ready stuffed or you can go and make him yourself in any Builder bear store. I always go to Merry Hill because the Birmingham store is now a part of Selfridges and it just doesn't feel as special anymore. How much was it? It was £30 and it had some accessories that I bought separately that I would like to show you as well. So the reason I didn't get the heart is because it was red and Stitch is pink. Although I have bought this, though it might be for one of my Duffy and friends because I buy 
Build-A-Bear items for my Duffy and Friends as well. If you haven't seen my Duffy and Friends collection, I will leave a card above. But this was £3 and it's a pizza wristlet where the pepperoni are all heart shaped. And I just really love it. If I don't use it on stitch, I will use it on something else because it just attaches to any hand on any plush. If they'd done a pink heart, I would have got a heart for stitch. And then the other thing I got is another wristlet and it was just £4 and it's a little mini teddy bear. I thought that was really, really cute and I just couldn't resist. So I got that and they're both kind of Valentine's related. But stitch just on his own, no sense, no sound, no heartbeat was £30. I did have a £10 voucher to use and Christmas money so this kind of plays into the what I got for Christmas because I did mention in that video that I hadn't spent all of my Christmas money and if you didn't see what I got for Christmas the link is in my description. What is so special about him? So there is a whole collection as I've just mentioned of stitch plushes that you can get from Builder bear now. Like I said I will get the Easter and Halloween if they do re-release. If they don't there's nothing I can do. I don't really fancy buying them on Vinted. I haven't seen them on Vinted. But this one, his fur is all white and pink hearts all over. He's still his traditional blue, but they've just added hearts all over his body. And then the inside of his ears are little pink hearts on a darker pink background. And he just looks really cute. I think he would make a perfect Valentine's Day gift or birthday gift for any Stitch fan that you have in your life that you love and like I said if you go to the store you can have it done however you want. I haven't had a plush done online in a very long time, I think it was a Snoopy for my mom. but I don't think you're ever given the option whether you want it firm or soft or anything so it's just best to go into store. They will let you have a feel of him if you're unhappy they will put more in or take out and it's just a very personalised experience. I was always put off going in because I felt embarrassed but honestly the staff all know me, they know what I like. I'm actually friends with one of them on Facebook and we talk quite a bit and it's just a really nice experience. He's also got a little stamp on his foot that has stitch with a flower and it says love stitch and he's obviously got the builder bear logo on his paw and i just absolutely adore him i highly recommend him is he worth the money i would say 30 pound is quite a lot for a plush as you know 30 pound is the price for the cuddlies which is a much bigger plush but i think with Builder bear you're kind of also paying for the work that goes into it because they're not ready made. With that being said, he technically cost me 20 because I had a £10 voucher. Whenever that deal is on, that you can buy a £10 voucher for £5, always do it because it is such a good deal because technically he cost me 25 because that £10 gift voucher only cost me £5. So I would highly recommend that. I didn't get one this time. I'm not sure whether the offer has run out, but I wasn't given the option. But whenever it comes back, definitely, definitely do it. But for me, especially since when it's Christmas money or birthday money or anything, I kind of don't see that I spent that money because it was someone else's money. I didn't mind paying 30 at all, to be honest. I think he's a beautiful plush, a beautiful addition to my collection that is ever growing and it's just so fun going in Builder Bear and making a plush. So that is my Valentine's Day themed plush review. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please give a big thumbs up if you did and comment down below letting me know whether you bought this plush, whether you're going to buy this plush. I'll be back on Friday for my Disneyland Paris haul which I'm really excited to share with you even though sadly I only bought one plush. So I hope you will join me on Friday for that. Have a great week and I will see you then. Bye friends!